Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 2010 problem number one. It was actually the first problem on this Mathematical Olympiad. It was not shortlisted, it was not longlisted, it actually appeared on the very competition. And it was proposed by France. We wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself such that the following functional equation is satisfied. f of floor of x times y equals f of x times floor of f of y for all the real numbers x and y. It's not terribly difficult. Here are my hints. Sorry. Here are my hints for this problem. First, set x to be 1 to find a formula to express f of y in terms of floor of f of y, and then use it to show the following equality, f of floor of x times y equals f of x times floor of y. And then set x to be any integer whatsoever, and y to be some number between 0 and 1. And from that, try to justify that our function must, in fact, be constant. So give this problem a try, and I will see you next time. I will see you in a minute, sorry. <laughs> so I will mark my functional equation by asterisk. And now let's set, first of all, let's set x to be 1. If I set x to be 1, then I have the following. f of y equals f of 1 times floor of f of y. Remember that y is arbitrary for every real number one, y. And now we can use it, and our very first functional equation becomes the following. The left-hand side will stay the same, and on the right-hand side, instead of f of x, I will put f of 1 times floor of f of x. And now, crucially, notice the symmetry. The right-hand side is symmetric with respect to x and y. So the left-hand side must also be. So that is true. And that also implies that if I change x and y, I have exactly the same because of symmetry. Crucial observation, truly. Which means that in fact for every real numbers x and y f of floor of x times y equals f of uh, x times floor of y perfect and now i wish to set x to be any integer whatsoever and y to be some number between 0 and 1 0 closed 1 open Notice that then we have the following. This is f of x, y, because x is an integer, and we have floor. And on the right-hand side, floor of y is 0. 0 times x is 0. So maybe let's put quantifiers once again. For every integer x and for every real number between 0 and 1, f of x, y is uh, c, let's say c, it's a constant. So there is a real constant c, such that for every x, y, this is true. But now think about it. Uh, every number can be put in this form. Every real number can be written as some integer so times some number between 0 and 1. Why is that, you may ask? Well, because if I have an interval from 0 to 1, notice that if I take this interval and I multiply by x, I have interval 0x, provided that x is a positive integer. And x can be as great as we wish, so we get 0 plus infinity. And moreover, if I have x times interval 0, 1, it's x to 0 if x is a negative integer. And also, we can take 
x to be we can get x tending to minus infinity and we can get any real number whatsoever so let's write it because it's very important so there must be some constant c such that for every real number z f of z equals c i.e f is constant and now what we wish to do is to find the value of this constant c how can we do it well by using our very first initial equation our very first equation now becomes let's take a look c equals c times floor of c c equals c times floor of c or we can write it that c 1 minus floor of c equals 0 and now we have only two possibilities either c is 0 or floor of c is 1 i.e well when flo when is floor equal to 1 for every number between 1 and 2 and that's our solution so solutions solutions f which is constant c where c is either zero or some number between one and two and what a horrible ellipsis let's put it lower and let's close our problem yes very well so we have solved our so we have solved our equation thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye